Hello everyone, this is Jennifer Shaheen, the Technology Therapist, and today I thought I'd walk you through some of the changes on Google+. As you might have noticed, you have a new layout to Google+. If you haven't looked at your profile in a few days, you may not have noticed that the layout is now a three-column layout. It makes it very easy for us to scroll down and look at our information that we've published, see who might be plussing our posts, or sharing with us. You'll also notice that they moved our navigation bar from below the photo to above the photo. This does make it easier as we scroll down so that we can very quickly jump around to our different sections without having to scroll back to the top. So I do have to say I do enjoy this new layout. One of the other things you might have noticed is that off to the side here, the navigation used to be stuck out at all times. Now it is actually collapsing and showing as you scroll over it. So if at any time you want to jump around and look at the different sections, all you need to do is stick out the navigation on the left and jump to the different sections that you're interested in. As a reminder, this is a new feature that was added, which is, as you can see, communities. Communities is something that was added a few weeks ago, and what it does is it allows you to find topics of information that you're interested and join them. So as you can see, you can find a mix of business and personal. So I've added myself to a few business and, well, let's be honest, I love cars. So I'm also going to look at this group and I'm going to join maybe that community. So it will make it very easy for me to come back over here on the left and jump to communities and you can see your communities that you're a part of and people who have invited you to join other communities. So in case you've been getting community invites, now you know what that relates to. If you've been using Google Plus for a while and you have company pages, you'll notice that you've always had this available to you. There's pages here on the left, and now you can see all the pages that you have somewhat control over. You can also see how many followers are on those pages, any notifications, managers, and obviously you can look here and see more for connecting services, site, and setting. So they have made it very easy for all of us to get around our Google Plus environment. When you're all said and done, you can at any time go ahead and hit profile and come back to where you began. One of the other things I want to mention is that when you click on home, don't forget this is like your newsfeed in Facebook. It is your home stream and these are all the people that you've liked or you follow or in your circles on Google Plus so you can see what's up here and you can join the conversation. At the end of the day, that's the whole point of being on Google Plus, just like being on Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn. You've got to join in for people to start to know who you are. So that's just a quick tour of the new Google Plus layout. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop by our Google Plus page and ask questions, or you can stop by our Google Plus page, Technology Therapy, and submit a question, or drop by our website, technologytherapy.com, and contact us at any time. I look forward to hearing from you. Happy Google Plusing.